Today we're going to add the LMC linear motion control option to your PLC trainer. This option is compatible with your PLC trainer as long as it came with the Compact Logix PLC or the Micro 850 PLC. It's going to come with the linear actuator, the motion controller, and an accessory bag to help you get it mounted to your trainer. Inside of this bag, you're going to have your fastener kit. And very important, there are two different size screws in here. There is a bag that has two screws and two washers. These are metric, and they are for bolting the bracket to the linear actuator. And loose in here are two 832 screws. They are for bolting the angle bracket to your PLC trainer. Also in your fastener kit, you are going to find a plastic template. Depending on which generation of our PLC trainer you have, you will have two holes here, or you're going to need to drill the two holes. So if you have a trainer that does not have the holes, simply set this on top of the angle bracket, mark these two spots, and drill the hole. Take one of the 832 screws and put a flat washer on it and then put it through the front of the trainer plate and then take the tall side of the bracket, put it on, put another flat washer on and put a nut on it. Then repeat it with the bottom bracket, lightly tighten the brackets down just so they don't fall over while we're installing the actuator. Then take the bag that had the screws that were set aside, let's get those out. And the easiest way to gauge this is start with the bottom one, and it is the second threaded hole up. So we're gonna put the screw through here and start it here, and then mount the top bracket. Then go ahead and snug up both these screws and our angle bracket mounting screws. And now we're ready to install the wiring harness and the drive. Inside of the bag, we have four items. And be careful that you don't lose the fourth one. So we do have the relay and wiring harness. We have an ethernet cable and we have a short wire. Don't lose the short wire. You do need it for your red mushroom button. This relay actually goes in place of the relay that comes on our standard trainer. So we're gonna pop the end cap loose here. And we'll just set it aside for now. Slide that relay over and put this relay in place of it. Now, before you do that, it's probably easier to go ahead and tuck this harness in because it's going to go behind the den rail. And we'll snap it on. Then we'll take the motion controller, slide down the den rail clip, put it on, and push the clip back up. Slide this relay back over and reinstall the end cap. Then let's look at the coil of the relay. Mainly it wraps behind this den rail. That's why it comes unwired. You have two wires that are labeled 0VDC, and they are white with a blue stripe, and they're going to go into A2. So just press one of them into A2, and press the other one into A2. And then you'll have a blue wire. It goes into A1. Then connect the power connector to the motion controller. Connect the linear actuator to the drive and connect the ethernet cable to the drive and loop it along with the harness behind our power terminals. The ethernet cable plugs into your ethernet switch on our default trainer that is the fourth port down. The plus 24 blue put into available terminal on the left set of terminal blocks. The zero volt Put it into an available terminal on the right side of terminal blocks. And the green ground goes to your green terminal block. And you're going to be left with 7091. 7091 will go to one of the normally closed contacts on your red mushroom button. And then you had your extra wire. That is the plus 24 volt for the red mushroom button. Put it in the top and put it into another available terminal block on the left side of terminals. After that, you're going to have one item left, and it's a tie wrap. And simply use it to tidy up this wiring harness here. We leave it a little bit long just in case you decide you want to mount the linear actuator away from your trainer. And right away I heard this click, and that's the main thing we're looking for. This relay is energized. If I press the red mushroom button, it drops out. That tells me that the relay is working. 
That's getting motor power to our motion controller. And the other thing to look at is that you have an indicator on with the port associated with the new module on your Ethernet switch. After that, you are ready to go through your motion control lessons. You'll find them in either the Studio 5000 course or the Connected Components course, depending on which PLC you have. And here's a playlist with the getting started exercise for both of those.